Hey guys, so this is a trick for memorizing certain signs and symptoms that are similar between different types of conditions. This should help you with your tests and with memorization of different conditions. So, sympathetic nervous system versus the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic is fight or flight, parasympathetic, rest and digest, right? So, sympathetic nervous system, I want you to think about a time that you were super just terrified, freaked out, like you just think of, it's all ghost. What type of symptoms are you going to experience? Typically, you know, your heart will start racing. You'll get pale or white, sweaty. Um, you'll get shaky. You might have anxiety and with the anxiety might come chest pain. Uh, pupils might dilate, etc. So those are all the symptoms of the fight or flight system kicking in. Those are the same symptoms we'll see in a ton of different conditions. You'll see those symptoms when someone's on cocaine or meth that's on a stimulant. You'll see those symptoms with someone who's hypoglycemic or heat exhaustion or heart attack. The reason I say this is because I want you guys to start recognizing groups of symptoms so that when you look at hypoglycemic patient symptoms, and you see all this long list of like pale, sweaty, tachycardic, shaky, dilated pupils. Your pupils do dilate, by the way, in hypoglycemia. Mine will dilate like six or seven millimeters. It looks like I'm high. So anyways, I digress. Um, I want you to, instead of being overwhelmed by all that list of symptoms, I want you to look at that group and start to recognize, oh, this is a group of fight or flight symptoms. Same thing with, like I said, heart attack heat exhaustion, etc, etc. So instead of just trying to memorize pale, sweaty, tachycardic, uh, those are hypoglycemic symptoms, I want you to just look at the list of symptoms and be able to recognize, oh, these are just fight or flight symptoms. And then you can just remember hypoglycemia, fight or flight symptoms. And now with the parasympathetic nervous system, same thing, just opposite, basically. Parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest, slows everything down. So blood pressure drops, heart rate drops, pupils get small. Um, for my Ben Clark students, your sludge acronym. So those are all the symptoms you're going to see with anything that's triggering the parasympathetic nervous system. That can be opioids or narcotics. That can also be organophosphates or nerve agents, but it can be a lot of other things as well. So when you see those symptoms, when you see like heart rate slowing down, and uh, pupils getting small, etc. I want you to, instead of thinking, like just trying to memorize those symptoms individually, just start thinking, oh, this is a group of parasympathetic nervous system symptoms. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, comment below.